time-honored Guizhou cuisine. In the 14th century, a young man on his way to the imperial examination stopped at an inn. He brought with him a piece of preserved spare rib and asked the innkeeper to heat it up for dinner. The innkeeper, in a momentary lapse of attention, forgot to remove the straw packaging. He put the piece of pork, together with the straw packaging, into a steamer. Something interesting happened. The meat, with a pleasant aroma of straw, was surprisingly delicious. The young man was inspired by the unexpected dinner and passed his examination. People subsequently credited the straw spare ribs for his success. The dish was thus named Fragrant Straw Spare Ribs, implying promotion. Today, Fragrant Straw Spare Ribs are always in short supply in Guizhou at the time of the college entrance exam. Guizhou cuisine, or Qian cuisine, represented by the dishes of Guiyang and Northern Guizhou, refers mainly to the dishes made by ethnic minorities such as Miao, Dong, and Yi. It is usually made in a simple and plain style. Guizhou cuisine is distinctive, characterized by its spicy, aromatic, sour, and rich flavors. Guizhou cuisine is categorized into ethnic, folk, and Tusi dishes. Ethnic dishes refer to dishes of ethnic minorities. Folk dishes are local specialties in non-minority regions. And Tusi dishes are related to Guizhou's Tusi, chieftain, culture. Before 10th century BC, ethnic minorities in Guizhou developed a primitive culinary culture, roasting, pickling, boiling, and fermenting rich food resources from planting, breeding, and the wild. Zhu Yuan Zhang, the founding emperor of the Ming Dynasty, had an army stationed in Guizhou. The soldiers, mostly from the north, introduced new flavors and ways of cooking, which added important elements to the distinctive Guizhou cuisine. Guizhou is short of salt. Locals use various seasonings, typically of sour and spicy flavors, as substitutes. Historical records revealed that local Miao and Dong people made sour foods long before salt was introduced to their villages. Guizhou people say they can't live without sour food. Chilies were later introduced from South America to China and extensively planted in the Southwest region. Coupled with local sour foods, the distinctive sour and spicy flavor of Guizhou cuisine was born. Guizhou's sour soup refreshes, sanitizes, helps relieve grease and prevents kidney stones. Fish and sour soup is a typical representative. The distinctive spicy and sour flavors is unique to Guizhou. Lao Ganma chili sauce is a brand as famous as Mao Tai liquor. There are the brand icons of Guizhou, a place of picturesque landscapes, great food ingredients, and excellent cuisine. Guizhou cuisine also boasts a large variety of ingredients from abundant natural resources. Most of the ingredients of Guizhou cuisine come from the province's mountains and forests. For thousands of years, ancient Guizhou people through practical experience, have come to realize that many herbs are both edible and medicinal. Many local medicinal herbs are wonderful seasonings. They add amazing flavors to Guizhou cuisine. Guizhou cuisine is not only healthy for modern people, but also bears the essence of agricultural civilization. The blend of spicy, sour, and medicinal culinary cultures has resulted in Guizhou cuisine's unique aromatic flavors and rich cultural connotations. It is a shining pearl in Chinese food culture.